this is our first crack at this uh, controversial story that arose out of the post game uh, of game five between the Canadians and the Lightning in the Stanley Cup final. Nikita Kucherov having a press conference for the ages, uh, shirtless, uh, just belligerent, and taking a shot at Montreal Canadiens fans. I have the quote here. The fans in Montreal acted like they won the Stanley Cup last game, referring to uh, game four. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Their final was last round in, in reference to them beating the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, what did you guys think of Nikita Kucherov wiling out in the press conference after winning the Stanley Cup and the shot he took at the Montreal Canadiens? I'm just wondering if the Tampa Bay management um, – address that obviously too late but uh you know that that was in poor taste it wasn't necessary i mean i don't know he, he must maybe been speaking through some russian vodka at the time so he was having a good, good time not feeling too much and not really uh understanding you know what he was saying and you know from our our side with some of the best fans that you can get in in the game of pro sports they're emotional. They're, you know, they're, they're, we've got a great following here in Montreal. You don't need to take a cheap shot like that. Uh, other than maybe he was just uh, parting a little too hard, and you know, there's some things that came out that shouldn't have come out. But uh, it was, it wasn't very well done, and uh, uh, you know, not, not really happy to see those type of uh, comments coming out from from anybody. Uh, uh, just uh, too bad to see. Well, see, Bud Light signed them to an endorsement deal probably because, see, you can actually get drunk drinking Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully not off that crappy beer that they're going to – is it them that's going to have that beer off the ice shavings from, oh. from the Emily Arena? How disgusting is that? Yeah, I totally want it. Bud Light beer, which straight up, by the way, not the greatest beer to drink already, and you're going to have a whole version of it with ice shavings from, you know, people skating on it and spitting on it and blood. Bubbles, shit, like blood and stuff. Yeah, I totally want to drink that. Thanks a lot, Bud Light. Great job. And Bud Light, you know, they had the T-shirts for the parade with the bull, you know what, written right on it. And Number uh, one bull. Mm. I guess yeah. the Lightning are okay with that and the NHL is okay with that. I mean, I thought it was classless, but – I went in two sides of somebody in the media when hockey players usually say nothing. They speak in cliches. It was, there's part of it that was sort of, I don't know if refreshing is the right word, but a guy who actually spoke just what was going through his head. Uh, maybe he had had some Russian vodka in the room before he had the Bud Lights. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's, I, I think it was unnecessary. Uh, I'm sure Kucherov is going to get booed every time he touches the puck from now on in Montreal. Not that he's going to care. Um, but I thought it was, you know, it was, it wasn't a classy move to do and it was sort of unnecessary, but you know, it's, we're talking about it and, uh, Bud Light sponsored him. And so he's, a, he's, I guess he's a cheap bait because he couldn't have, uh, you know, couldn't, it wasn't that long after the game was over and he looked like he was already drunk on Bud Lights or whatever he was doing, but I thought it was unnecessary and I thought it was a cheap shot, but, uh, you know, the lightning seemed to be having fun with it. I personally think it was just vodka, no Bud Light in that can, because as you said, it, he could not get drunk that quickly off of that. Uh, and I can't wait for him to come to the Bell Center, get those booze. It's kind of that storyline that that makes a game uh, during the regular season that much more fun because of these uh, storylines that come from the season before. Yeah, it was classless, but it's true what you said, Stu, that we're so used to getting boring hockey players that never do anything. And I think this is why this is really standing out is because in the NHL, you don't ever hear uh, this kind of trash talking from players. He also, uh, you know, didn't have very kind words for Mark Andre Fleury uh, for winning the Vesna and not uh, his goaltender. So, you know, he, there was a lot of people he insulted during that rant, not just the Habs fans. Uh, but you know what? He won the Stanley Cup. He's one of the best players. So, you know what? If he wants to do, you know, make a classless comment like that, uh, you know, that was kind of his opportunity. He's feeling very good about himself and uh, and he let it rip. And not only that, I think those comments kind of capped off a year where Nikita Kucherov officially cemented himself as the official villain of the National Hockey League. Mm -hmm. So he takes a shot at the fan base of the most illustrious NHL franchise in the league, uh, going on the boat wearing the, uh, you know, with the Super Bowl and the Stanley Cup and the shirt that has the 18 million over the salary cap. Because remember, uh, one big reason why the Tampa Bay Lightning were over the salary cap 
was because of Nikita Kucherov. And again, the Lightning were completely within their rights to do so uh, through the rules of the CBA. So already you have fans pissed at you with that, thinking it's just, oh, it's a fix and you're breaking the rules or whatever. And then you say that. I'm not going to lie. As someone who's just kind of watching this stuff for entertainment, those Kucherov comments did not bother me at all. I thought the fact that he went up there and he was talking crap after winning a Stanley Cup, after everyone was giving him a whole bunch of crap for the year when I was like, all right, fine. Talk your crap. Talk your crap. That's okay. That's fun for me as someone watching it and trying to be entertained or perhaps writing a story on it. I'll say this too, though. Like, the Canadians fans should be able to celebrate however they want. They hadn't seen anything in almost 30 years. Of course, they're going to treat it like they're Stanley Cup. They won game six on St. Jean Baptiste, a national holiday <laughs> across Quebec. What do you want? To, he didn't have that context, I'm sure. But even at that, he was just trying to get a rise out of Montreal Canadiens fans. And I don't think people should be getting too riled up about that. The guy won a damn Stanley Cup. And I'm still convinced if the tables were turned and someone on the Montreal Canadiens did that, a lot of Canadiens fans would not. Be as mad as they would as they are at Nikita Kucherov. Nikita Kucherov was just, you know, just he's a guy who won a Stanley Cup. Oh, you just was drunk. <laughs> he was drunk. All he needed was a cigar. All he needed, come on, like who cares? Who kudos, cares? Kudos to Chantal Maccabee at RDS though. <laughs> this video of the streets on Tampa about know, an hour after the game, and there was nobody. The streets oh were deserted. God. Talking about you know what a great you know, the hot. Dumping on the hockey fans of Montreal here. Tampa just won the Stanley Cup, and there was nobody on the street celebrating it afterwards. And that's going to do it for this bonus episode. Let us know in the comments section what you think of Nikita Kucherov's comments and the way the Tampa Bay Lightning have been celebrating their most recent Stanley Cup. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we love it when people subscribe to our YouTube channel, even though we've already crossed the 10,000 subscriber mark. We're still grateful and appreciative of that, by the way. Uh, visit HockeyInsideOut.com to check out our full episode. And our next full episode drops July 27th. We're going to have a whole bunch of great stuff for that episode. So keep it locked here.